I'm going to do random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. This is a great way to train yourself to see the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to the game, look for links in the video description below and download this player reference so you can follow along. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. We'll just roll these dice to determine which seat we're in, just to keep the variables fresh. For the first one, I rolled a nine, so we're going to be East. East Round, we're in East Seat, so I will get 14 tiles. We have a flower. That cannot be in your eight point minimum. This is bonus. So let's just double check. It looks like a lot of tiles, but these are chunky. This is the right amount of tiles, 14. So we have three BAMs, singles, four dots with a pair of nines, we have six cracks with a pair of nines and a single wind west. So let's see, you know what I would probably try here is outside hand, terminal pungs, no honors, voided suit. Let's see if that's enough. You gotta have eight points to qualify. So outside hand is number 55, that's four points. That means you have a one or a nine or a wind or dragon in every block. So that's four. Any pung of terminals is one. So four, five, six. Voided suit is one. That's number 75, one point. No honors, that's another one. So outside hand, terminal pungs, that would be, oh, let's see. Outside hand, no honors, voided suit, terminal pungs. We would need to discard those and this. This would also qualify for double pung, double pungs. Is that what it's called? Double pungs. Number 65, that's two points. I would keep the two, because we could do one, two, three chows. We would have to get rid of, oh, we could keep the eight also because we could do seven, eight, nine. As long as a one or a nine are in the blocks, so we can't use four, five, six. So I would discard these first. I think I would hold the West for a while because we could use that as well. If we do outside hand is four, five, six for terminal pungs. Double pung is two. So really, we could maybe use the West because we have eight points without discarding the wind or even voiding a suit. But that would be another way to get more points. You know what I just thought? We almost have lesser honors and knitted tiles. One, four, seven, three, six, nine, two, five, eight. So with the outside hand plan, we had four discards with lesser honors and, or lesser, lesser honors and knitted tiles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Lesser honors and knitted tiles is number 34, and that's 12 points. 
I think I think we're better off to go with outside hand leverage those pairs the challenge is that you have to have a pair of either terminals or honors honors are winds and dragons so I think out the outside hand plan is good here if you would do something different right east pull and what you would do with these tiles so now we're going to do south round I rolled an eight so we're going to be player four north north seat south round No flowers this time. That's okay. I try not to even think about flowers with one exception. And we can talk about that in a minute. In this case, we don't have any. So we have a chow, two, three, four in dots. We have three bams, three, eight, nine. Here we have a pair of fours with cracks. We have six and there's two potential chows. We actually have a chow right there six seven eight so with this I think what I would try is all simples first of all two through eight that's what simples are two through eight we do have a two three four a three and a four so we might be able to do mixed triple chow Mixed triple chow is eight points all by itself. That is number 41. It's the same chow in each suit. Obviously we're light with these two, but we've got a chow here. One thing we might be able to do is do a three, four, five, because we have a four, five here and a three here. So I would gather simples. I think I would gather simples, see if we could do mixed triple chow, because all simples alone is not enough. That's only two points, number 68. There is a scoring element, which is called a fawn. There is a fawn called lower four, number 37. That's 12 points. So that would be one through four. We would have a lot of discards though, including two potential chows. So I don't think I would do that. I think I would keep an eye out open for it, but I think all simples is good. All simples, maybe mixed triple chow. We would have to get some score besides all simples. And that's why I was thinking about mixed triple chow what about mixed shifted chows i think that's a lower value mixed shifted chows is six points number 51 two three four let's see we could do two three four four five six six seven eight that would be mixed shifted chows with all simples that would be eight so again collecting simples would help i would think about mixed triple chow or mixed shifted chows one or the other so i would discard the nine in the west let me know what you think about that plan. That was south round. Now we're gonna do west round. 
So this time I rolled an 11, 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. We're in west seat and it's west round. Oops. Okay. For these tiles, let's get these flowers out of the way. So we're in west seat. It's west round. If we pung the east, we won't get value there, except for a pung of honors. We won't get double value, I should say, or not double value, uh, two points. If you have your own seat or the wind of the round, that's two points. Here, a terminal pung or a wind pung, or really pung of honors, which are winds and dragons, that's just one point. So this would be one point if we pung. We do have eight, nine, one, two, seven, one, two, seven terminals. terminals. Those are honors, not terminals. These are terminals. Nine, one, one. That's a dragon and winds. Those are called honors. So we do have the makings of outside hand again. Outside hand is number 55. We also have a potential for mixed double chow. I believe that's only one point. Mixed double chow number 70, one point. So outside hand would be four. Pung of honors would be five. Mixed double chow would be six. We would need two more points. We could do pure terminal chows. Two terminal chows is what it's called. Number 72, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine in one suit. We actually have equal potential there. Maybe what we need to do is, hmm, I was thinking we could void a suit. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. So really we don't even need this, but if we get an eight or a nine in both of these, we could do mixed triple chow, seven, eight, nine. I think what I would do here is discard the six and the five and see what comes in. But I think I would try for outside hand and then either void the suit or try for mixed triple chow, seven, eight, nine. And again, mixed triple chow is eight points, 41. That's number 41. We have two discards before we'd have to really commit. And if we could pair up the dragon and pung, that would be even better because that would be two points. That was west round. We're on north round, last one. This time, we're going to be in west seat, since I rolled a seven. For this last pull, we have five cracks with a pair of twos, three bams, pair of twos, four dots, and we have a two. We have all the twos. Two, two, two. There's a fawn called Triple Pung. Triple Pung is number 32, and that is 16 points.
we're in west seat and it is north round this is not going to bring us any score i think i would discard that for no honors that's a point we do have a seven nine and a seven nine we could do mixed double chow we wouldn't be able to do triple pung though and triple pung is more score double the value so i think what i would do here is focus on little numbers maybe discard the south and then discard the nines focus on simples and little numbers if possible because there is a scoring element called lower four lower four is number 37 and that is 12 points one through four so we would have to lose the seven six seven so i would focus on little numbers if we get that two pong for triple pong that would be my plan a otherwise we could do maybe all pung all simples that would be eight points all pung is number 49 six points all simples number 68 two points we could even do double pung that could be a pretty likely plan double pung is number 65 and that's two points so there's potential with simples so i would discard south and the nines even though we're giving up two potential chows if we hold little numbers i think we could have a nice hand i like to do random pulls because it gives me an opportunity to train myself to see the potential in a drawn hand if you are new to this version and you have a set of tiles at home give it a try don't forget to download this quick reference so you can study the fun if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing click the little gray bell if you do that way you'll get notification for when i post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for mahjong competition rules may all your picks be keepers